Beirut. Dogri, dogri, Beirut. Okay, thanks. Stevens. Well, I think you'll find Beirut's got its charm. So where'd they find you? I was in Paris, doing a fashion show. So what's it going to be then next autumn? Hemlines up, hemlines down? <laughs> Sideways. Huh. Well, since it's your maiden voyage, let me introduce you to a couple of Beirut's VIPs. These are the PLOs, Hamdi and Salim. Mr. Stevens here is a new boy in town. Every time Hamdi blows something up, Salim is on hand to explain why. Join us if you want. You'll be lonely all by yourself. Oh, don't worry about me. Any luck. I've seen double in your time. Fashion show. to cut down. Tears won't help this child. The odds of him living to see his next birthday are slim. On this day alone, 250 civilians were killed in the heaviest Israeli bombardment to date. From land, sea, and air, an estimated 380 tons of bombs were dropped, lighting up the Beirut sky like a 4th of July celebration. But there is nothing to celebrate. No peace, no hope, no end to this barbarous nightmare. Tomorrow, there will be more victims and more carnage, and the burnt-out city will resound with more righteous cries for revenge. And when the night comes, the city will glow again, like a Roman candle over this murderous holiday from sanity. What was once the Paris of the Mideast is now the closest thing to hell on Earth. And this is Don Stevens, ABS News, Beirut. When you drink a beer, it's strong yet smooth because it's matured over beechwood. See? Finish. Two bucks. I hate you. <laughs> Knew I would find you here. Abdul, you get anything? I almost got killed in a crossfire. Can we get two minutes out of it? No, I just ran the hair out of there. Didn't get one fucking shot. I don't even know who was shooting at who. Can't tell the players without a scorecard. Okay, never mind, we'll do something. Yesterday's stuff, I'll verb it up late. Fabulous, it'll be fabulous. You make me laugh. All you do is sleep and get drunk. Hey. You haven't put your nose outside this hotel since you got here. You do it. Yeah, you're talking to a pro. In a few days, your friend, what's his name, Snyder, will be back, and you two can go out and play war games. In the meantime, you know, just work up a 
tasty story about Beirut and flames, okay, please? Never. Forget about it. I quit. Find yourself another gopher. Abdul, wait. I take it back. I quit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can we make up? Mike. Mike, I know you're in there. Well, it's you. What's up? I, I, I need a favor. Are you busy? Uh, don't worry. This is my um, interpreter. Hi, I'm Don Stevens, ace reporter. I'm a nice person. Yeah, don't bother. She doesn't understand a word of English. Ah, ba, ba. Yeah. Ah, ba, ba. Have you seen Lawrence of Arabia? Yeah, I just saw him on time. That's how he used to get rid of his camel. Uh, my cameraman, he, he abandoned me. He thinks I'm too dedicated. Mm hmm? Can't say I blame him. Playing cool's one thing, playing dead's another. Oh, I lost my taste for all this. But um, the thing is, I could use some of your old footage, you know, outtakes, and. Be my guest. Just one thing. Why are you here? Hmm? Come on, I've seen some of your stuff. This isn't your first war. That's true. So? I don't know. Yeah. It's got one execution, scores of broken limbs and more burned faces than you can count. Boffo footage, I believe, is how your trade papers would put it. They'll love it. Yum, yum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piss off. Hey guys, I want you to take one of our cafes here. I want you to try this. Hello, Mr. Stevens. Aren't you coming? This is a big event. Have a nice day. You're crazy. You can't miss this story. I must bigger. This is the grand finale. Arafat and the PLO are leaving Beirut. Well, give my regards to Big A. Tell him I don't play crowd scenes. It's against my religion. I hope you got a good excuse lined up for ABS. Mr. Stevens, I have a message for you. You know the name Yassin Abu Riyad? He's a PLO, big shot, right? You like to meet him, get interview? He will say something important, make you famous. How come he's not leaving Beirut? He not leave, many PLO not leave. Not till end. Why me? You knew, you know to excite. We trust you. Tonight, come to this place. Alone. Wait. They will take you to your seat. You want to have a drink? A sandwich? Girls, hot peppers, the whole thing. I just got here. Think of jet lag. Do, do I not have to? Do I not have to adjust? Pull the plug on me. Of course, I'm filing, Jerry. Really? Transfer me there, Bahrain. That's the large font of the Middle East, Jerry. Bahrain. You can't get a drink. Get off my kid. Everybody in the world has got Arafat. I'm working on something. I tell you, I tell you. I, I'm working on something. World exclusive. World, world. 
Bafo! It's Bafo! Bafo! Profundo footage! Yes? That's right. Tomorrow! I promise. As God is my judge, don't worry, be happy. Hi. Well, not to drive. I'm 15. I've been alive since I was 12. I'm gonna hurry. No problem. Yeah. Whiskey? Cassettes, cigarettes, I have American cigarettes. Vodka, Smirnov, best vodka you can get. Dirty pictures, hashish. Where do you get all that stuff? This town's supposed to be under siege. I can come and go when I want. When you're out of women, out of gas, call for Habib. Okay, Habib. Okay. Watch it. Watch it. What's this? Back up. Back up. Stevens, thank you for coming. I'm Yasina Buriad. Have you ever been to Palestine, Mr. Stevens? I see. You are okay with your camera? Go ahead. You need anything? No. Maybe a coffee? Okay, so let's get on with it. Uh, Mr. Stevens, I would like to ask you a question. What do you think of us, of the PLO? I'm not sure. 
Well, you see, I'm about to give you this story of your reporting life. I want to get to know you better. Go ahead, come on, tell me. I think you're in trouble. Yes, I'm afraid you are right. Our organization has suffered the most serious blow in all its history. But you know, I foresaw all this a few years ago when we ceased to be a small group of freedom fighters and became a political movement. To my opinion, we should have abandoned terrorism then totally and move to diplomacy. Then it might surprise you. I'm knocked out, really. I, none of you people have said that. True, oh, we have not. Until today. You and I, Mr. Stevens, are going to put an end to this tradition in a historic interview. I'm afraid. Yes, I am. But I'm doing it for a, a worthwhile cause. Uh, but please, Mr. Stevens, you must not disclose my identity. You know, <laughs> one doesn't make a revolution in one day. I'll refer to you as a well-known PLO leader, OK? OK, all right. It's all right with me. What should the PLO do now? We must stop dreaming. Stop dreaming about Acre, about Haifa, about Ramla, about Jaffa. We must get what we can or we lose everything. We lose our homeland forever and become a second Armenian nation with a flag, a national anthem, but nowhere to go. Stand by Paris, sell like to Paris. À Paris, un leader du PLO se cachant quelque part dans la ville assiégée octroie au correspondant de télévision de la chaîne ABC une déclaration sensationnelle. C'est la première fois qu'une telle déclaration... Go on dreaming. We'll wake up in five years in all of Palestine, the West Bank, the Gaza Strip. Everything will be inhabited by Jews. It will all be de facto a part of Israel. This report just in in Beirut, a PLO leader hiding somewhere in the besieged city issued a sensational statement to ABS correspondent Don Stevens. This is the first time such a declaration has come from a man in this... We cannot rely on our Arab brothers. The terror weapon has been exhausted. It's a boomerang. Mr. Stevens? Mr. Stevens? It's about your interview. The man you interviewed. Who was it? Who are you? Oh, excuse. I'm Linda Larson. I'm a nurse here in the hospital. I need to know. It's very important. Please, was it Yasin? Yasin Aburia? It was Yasin. Right? He wasn't on the source. He... Hey, Stevens, you really caught all this. Good work. It's always a thrill when a bush nigger gets a chance at the big time. Mom, do me a favor. Don't piss on my shoes and tell me it's raining. Did you get no snow? Hmm? No, it's just a pretty friend. Come on, Don. Give. Who's the well known PLO leader, huh? Yeah. Well, I reckon I can guess it anyway. There aren't that many possibilities. I want to show you something. The fruits of victory. Ah, come on. Give us a break. <laughs> Only an irresponsible and headline-hungry reporter would possibly believe that any Palestinian leader could utter such treasonous words. We wish to repeat, here and now, before the international media, which we respect very much. Be extremely careful of the type of deception that embarrassed your gullible colleague. The man Mr. Stevens interviewed was a fake. What do you mean fake? How do you know that? You people came to me. Mr. Stevens, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. You seem better informed than we are as to what is going on in our organization. Mr. Salem, some of your leaders have recently given off the record views concerning changes in the Palestinian covenant, even possible recognition with Israel. I cannot comment on gossip spread by the Zionist press. I know the difference between news and gossip. My report was accurate. That's all there is to it. You know? Why do you hide the identity of the men then? <laughs> Tell us who it was. Come on. Oh, you're not lying. You know, we all know, I mean, we're talking about ethics. If, if, if I don't protect him, he's dead, that's why. 
Of course he's right. That's the truth. Gentlemen, I think we can accept that Mr. Stevens was duped and his denial shall be immediately forthcoming. Why would I do that? Absolutely not. Why would I do that? Mr. Salim, with respect, we all know it can only be one of four or five people. And my sources tell me that the gentleman Mr. Stevens claims to have interviewed was Yassine Abu Riyad. Mr. Salim, can you confirm or deny the truth of this statement? Well, I think it will interest you to learn that Yassine Abu Riyad left Beirut two weeks ago. <laughs> No more questions, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. We've got a say in Fleet Street. If you can't make the news, fake it. You lucky son. Now all you've got to do is produce the guy. You've got another scoop. Just make sure he stays alive, eh? On second thoughts, if he doesn't, it'll be bloody magic. You can say what you like and claim a world exclusive. Mr. Stevens, somebody is waiting for you outside. Yeah, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to find out. Just get in. Lebanon, this is not Disneyland. Ya light la. What is all this? You people, you peep, you mu You shoot kids in the back, you're fucking murderers, you know that? What if this will stop in a minute, Mr. Stevens. Uh, please sit down. I don't want to sit down. You want to sit down, sit down. He pointed a gun at me. Took me from the hotel. I want to tell you about the Palestinians, Mr. Stevens. When no one else wanted them, they came to our country. Destroyed our homes, killed our brothers, raped our sisters. My own young brother, they killed in Tyre in 1976. Four shots in the stomach. A slow death, huh? You see? I have a dream. Each night, I'm on the hilltop behind my village and I see them coming, bunches of them, and I raise my iron fist and destroy them, crush them. Look, I'm just a journalist, you know. You are an idiot, Mr. Stevens. Be thankful that up to now you have been permitted to act freely, but uh, do not take us for fools. We, the Christian Falange, rule this country. You fucking journalists are interested only in the BLO. Don't you know that we banished them from Lebanon? Really? I could have sworn I'd seen a couple. Their time will also come. Where is that bastard, you see? Even if I knew, you know, I couldn't tell you that. Kamar <laughs> Wahad. <laughs> Now take us to him. 
They blindfolded me. I mean, I didn't know where I was. I don't... Don't lie to us, Mr. Stevens. Please. You know, I don't want... I don't want... Any trouble. I don't want to get hurt, okay? Okay. I'm no hero. If I knew, I would tell you, okay? I believe you. No. Be careful, Mr. Stevens. Try to be more objective. Don't fool around too much with those Palestinians. Stop fooling around. Wait a minute. I can supply you with uh, stories that will keep you busy for a whole year. Understand. Okay. Come in, Mr. American. Good day, Mr. Stevens. That's it, I got Yo! Yo, go, 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 Next time we take you. Oh, I, I need that stuff. Let's talk. And remember, the PLO is still in Beirut. Hello. Journalist. Sir Hafen. They know me here. Hamdi Salim. He knows me. Stand up! Look at them, Mr. Stevens. Only yesterday they were clutching their mother's apron, and today they are tough fighters. For every PLO fighter who left Beirut, we have another to take his place. We never surrender, Mr. Stevens. Never. Last night, I had a visit from a couple of your guys. They took my equipment. I, I, mean, I, I can't work without the camera. Could I have it back, please? Uh, that interview with Yassim, do you still insist it took place? Yeah, I do. The only one who can prove it is Yassim, right? I'm going to find him. Ah, you are a stubborn man, Mr. Stevens. I like that. Don't worry about your equipment. It will be returned today. Thanks. I worry about your suit. You know, he is a good friend and a wise man, but he is wrong. It's not time for a talk yet. Still time for the gun. Find your scene, Mr. Stevens. It's your duty now. One second. Wait one second. It's, yes. it's, about, it's about your friend, Yasim. I, I, I want you to help me find him. Oh, I feel like a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. You're not Please. funny. If and you don't help me, your chief I can start looking for another job. Get lost. Just get out of here. He's trying to make a living. Hush.
You okay? No. I can't even throw up. Stick your finger in your throat. Done. Get me some matches, quick. One. I want to burn my passport. These are fascists. Two or later when you feel better. refuse entry to a poor Palestinian girl. And they claim to be a government of the, of the left, spouting off about the rights of the Palestinian people. Who? What girl? I sent her to Paris. Now she's back again. What is it all about? The photos, the millions of meters of film, the beautiful words. If we cannot save one miserable soul in this godforsaken hell, what's it all about? Tell me. The show business going on, moving pictures. There must be something more to it. I don't think so. I've been in just about every armpit there is. I've seen it, reported it. Nothing changes. One big TV hoo-ha keeps us glued to our seats. We watch the glass tip. I feel glad to be alive and well. At least I do. You must be wrong. There must be something we can do. I can't think what it is. We're not activists, Bernard. We're tranquilizers. Hello. Speaking. I am Yasin Abu Riyad. Really? Listen. Hello, are you there? Uh, one second, please. I can't hear you very well. Hello? I say I, I can't hear you. Mr. Stevens. Could, could you repeat that? I am Yasin Abu Riyad. Can you hear me? Yes, now? I hear you. What is it, Mr. Abu Riyad? Mr. Stevens, have we ever met? Do you recognize my voice? That's not so easy over the phone. Are you in Beirut? Yes. I don't know who you interviewed, but it was not me. Well, whatever your name is, I didn't ask for that interview. You must issue a denial. You understand? Listen. I don't like being jerked around. Oh, Mr. Stevens. Please. Made to look like a dope. For you, it is a matter of pride. For me, it is my life. You must issue a denial. Well, why should I believe you? Either we meet face to face or forget about it. Okay, I will meet you. Tell me where and when. It is Hamra Road. Two uh -huh. Bring your camera. I will deny on television. Okay? I'll, I'll be there.
più. Am I the man you interviewed? No. It is good for your camera if I sit here. Oh, wait a minute. I got set up once. Man, I want to know who. Why? It is not you they are playing the trick on. It is me. Who's they? This. There are a lot of people out there who would like to silence me. You see, all those things they had me saying in the interview are in fact things in which I strongly believe. I believe that the time has come for dialogue. Why don't you say that on TV? You had the scoop. Palestinian leader advocates abandoning terror. New era dawns in this blood-drenched region. You say I should get up and cry out, look at me, I am a moderate, talk to me. Do you really think I should do that? Sounds good for a start. Believe me, if I say to the world that I recognize the state of Israel, that will not change anything. I would die as a martyr. Let me do it my own way. It will happen one day. It must. We and the Israelis stand on the brink of an abyss, clinging to one another. We must stand or fall together. Excuse me, my son. Daoud, what's the problem, my brother? Yes, my brother. What's your name? My brother. Yes, that's good. I'm going to talk to my brother. I'm going to talk to my brother. Yes, my brother. to go when you finish your job in the room. Uh, uh, home, I guess. That is what I want to be able to say one day. Home. In the meantime, I am hiding, keeping my mouth shut. All my life, I have been packing my bags. Where to this time? Who knows? We have become the world's new wandering Jews. I'm tired of hiding, keeping my mouth shut. You know what, Mr. Stevens? I will give you an interview, a real one. Let's start before I change my mind. Okay. It's your turn. I hope you know what you're doing. Okay. Three, two, one. Um... My name is Yasin Abu Riyad. <laughs>
He called, asked me to come. I, I, I interviewed him, you know, just as he requested. Oh, yes. That's how they found him. The fake interview wasn't enough. Yassine had to pay with his life to make the whole story complete. I didn't do anything to him. I know. It didn't pull the trigger. What is this? Um, somebody got hurt. It's blood. Uh. Out. What's the matter? Out. Look, I'm, you know how it goes. I'm, I'm a journalist. On my way to Damascus. That's TV. Okay, you can go now. This stays here. That stays there. That's my story. I need that. Yeah. I have to send it by satellite today. That story, I have to send it by satellite. I tell you, the world will manage without your PLO propaganda. You know, you can't do that. No. I'm a foreign correspondent. You are a PLO spy. Foreign! Foreign correspondent! Who's in charge here? I'm in charge, and now move. Okay, okay. That's my work! Okay. Shame, eh? I'm a stooge. Now he's dead. What? Yes, and they shot him. Right in front of me. On camera. Jesus. You lucky sod. Have you got the tape? I wish I did. They took it from me at the checkpoint. Ah, well. It's only a bloody Palestinian, huh? Who shot him? These people have got me so confused. This is Beirut. No one needs a reason to kill anyone. Here you don't kill who you want, you kill who you can. Are you sure you're in the right profession? Oh, wow. It's okay, it's no one but... Who's this? This is Soel, my wife. The girl I told you about. I didn't know you were engaged.
Bassam, the man I interviewed? I do not know who they want to kill Yassin. I swear it by my life, it is true. Bassam says speak instead of Yassin, that is all. I do not know who they want to kill him. Where can I find this Bassam? I don't know. When I go back to camp, they say go to. They say they look for both of us. Well, who's they? I don't know. What they do to me? Don't worry. Uh, tell me more about this Bassan. He's pink. What do you think about his cars, gears? Much time he tried to make me, but I not want him. I must take care of my brothers. One day he says, soon we'll have much money. Jay will help us. We'll get married and go to Kuwait. He yeah, family there. Who's Che? I don't know. I don't know nothing. They will kill me. What's the family name of Bassan? Kenefani. Bassam Kenefani. You can stay here I'm on the couch. What's your name? Samira. Hello, Mr. Schneider. Did you miss me? Of course. Yeah. Don? Well, here you are. How's the Aussie? You got back in a hurry. Well, I had to, didn't I? I've got your plane ticket. You leave tomorrow. Oh, thanks. What do you mean, no? Use it yourself. Don, I'm not gonna argue. Stay if you like, cry on Jerry's shoulder. But tomorrow I'm taking back my room, my desk, and my assignment. And Don, fuck with the bullet, you'll get the horns. This is Beirut, not Disneyland. A telephone call for you. Is Mr. Stevens still here? I'll take it. Is Mr. Schneider? Thanks. Hello. Mr. Stevens? Who's this? I'm the man you interviewed. The man you thought was Yasina Buryat. Hello, Mr. Stevens? Yes, go on. I want you to know that I had no idea that Yasin would be assassinated. Hey, hey take, take it easy now. You see, they didn't tell me anything about it. They said it was just for propaganda. I never well, even planned to kill him. Who do you work for? I cannot talk now. I must see you. I need your help. Okay. Where? When? On the beach. The yacht club, six o'clock. But I shall wait only for a few minutes. Bassam Kanfani, huh? Excuse me, I'm, I'm looking for Kanfani. Do you know Kanfani? Bassam Kanfani, he lives... Um, he lives here someplace. Yeah. Shukran, thank you. Hey! 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 Wait! I always 
Ten Tyro Minoni. What do you want? I'm looking for somebody, a friend. It's kind of funny. Away. Okay. And don't come back here. Don't get nervous. Go away. Okay. Linda, Linda, Sahi. You feel better now? Doubt found you. You're still in the camp. We shouldn't have come here, Mr. Stevens. Everything I want to know is here. Why he hasn't died. So have you found anything? But he tries to stop me. You know, after all this, to have a dead end. Jesus H. Christ, you're dead. So what else is new? I'm serious. I'm just going to identify your dead body. Still, since you're here, you might as well do it your fucking self, huh? Wait, wait. I'm dead?
as Sam. The guy who posed as yes. You'd better stay away from your tail for a while. Whoever got rid of this Snyder wanted you. No man named Che. At least a dozen. Maybe one of those dozen killed Yasin. Got rid of Bassam, Snyder. Now he's after me. The way you normally go through a day, I'm surprised you're still around. Keeps me off the street. Sorry. Oh, that's a joke. Was he the reason you came here? Yes. Yeah. And well, why'd you come to me? To find him? Oh, we hadn't seen each other for some time before he was killed. But what about you? Where's your home? My home's in a suitcase. No family. And a wife. Sporty type thinks love is a tennis score. What about you? What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Hopefully take that wood, find a safe place. If you do that, let me know. Doesn't all this ever get to you? Sure. It's crazy unless it's for kids. I'm old. Yeah, very old. <laughs> Pretty old. Well, how do you meet him, Yasin? We met in Europe, then we came here. Now I wish I had convinced him not to come. Huh. It's not your fault. If I blame myself for everything I report, I'd end up covering fashion shows in Paris. Paris?
ماشي طيب استنوا برا He's gone, but we managed to get the other right. What's he doing here? Mr. Stevens? Mr. Stevens is going to help us find her, right? show you something. Did you know that Linda had lived in Israel? <laughs> These are classified PLO documents. They were found in an electrical meter box in the city. What are you getting at? They were smuggled out by an agent planted here a couple of years ago. The agent's code name is Sarah. It was only tonight we discovered the whole plot, but it was unfortunately too late. Sarah escaped. Who do you think is behind Yassin's murder? Who organized the fake interview in order to expose him? Think, my friend. I didn't slow on the uptake, sunshine. The Mossad. Israeli Secret Service used you like a small child. Yes, your little nurse is an Israeli agent. <laughs> Mr. Stevens, won't you please take us to Linda? What's in it for me? Well, what do you mean? I don't want to get stuck again. A story, is that what you want? Yeah. Make it a good one. It couldn't be more sensational. Without one. Linda first. Oh. What are you going to do to her? Oh, don't worry. You won't kill her. Israeli agents like gold dust. We could get in exchange from the Zionists a few hundred of our fighters. OK, I'll take it to her. I told you he's a nice guy. <laughs> Thank you. You won't regret it. Believe me. Best deal you've ever made. Oh, uh, don't do anything stupid. For God's sake, grow up. Um, 32 Rue uh, Mazra. for us on the bus in like that. If you want her, let me go in and talk her into coming out. OK. Two minutes, and then we'll come. We 
made it, huh? I'm waiting for Karim. I don't know where he is. He's dead. Where's that wood? Boy's here. You can't go anywhere. Hamdi's looking for you all over town. Yes, we've got to get out of here. Oh, Will you help? Some... I, I, want, I want to hear from you before I turn you over. To... Are you an Israeli agent? What are huh? you talking about? You don't understand. I would love to understand. Tell I'm me. not an Israeli agent. Not anymore. Not anymore? I was a student, a volunteer on the kibbutz. There I met this man, Danny. He was for the Mossad, the Secret Service. They offered me a job. What are you saying it was money? No. It was love. I just wanted to help. So they, they sent you to Europe to set up Yassin? Yes. I was expecting the enemy. But I discovered a wonderful man. After a while, I just left the Mossad. That's fine, but the Mossad killed Yassin. It was Hamdi. Hamdi murdered Yassin. Hamdi is Che. Top man. Why would the PLO get rid of their own guy? Oh, you met Yassin. You know what he believed in. You want more proof? Tomorrow, the whole town will be on fire. Hamdi and his men are going to blow up the Falange's headquarters. I was going to East Beirut to tell the Israelis. But now Karim is dead. Will you help me? Come on. Come on. Okay, we're now. East Beirut. It's not as easy as you think. Step on it, Happy. I'll buy your whole supermarket. Just get us there quick. No stops. Ex-agent back from the car. Nobody will believe you. I hope Dan is over there. He'll believe you. Get down. Get down. Stop. Keep. You gotta stop meeting like this. Damascus Road. This is no good. Just take the boy and leave Beirut. Believe yes, me, I'll do this. It's okay. Your business. I need the exercise. You're crazy. Don! Don't get yourself killed. Good luck. Oh, 
shoot! Don't move! Don't shoot! Hands up! Journalist! Journalist! Get to the All car. right! All right, don't shoot! American! Hands up! I, I have ideas. It's in the back. It's in the back. Car. Hands on the car. I have ideas right back there. I'm a journalist. American. ABS. TV. TV. לא יודע, אמריקאי מזוין, מה לעשות איתו? תביא אותו הנה, אני אקח אותו למפקדה. Get, get to the other chief. אוקיי, okay, אוקיי. Okay. Hands up. I have information that the Falange headquarters is going to be destroyed today, now. Um, where did you get this information? I have it from a, one of your agents. Her code name is Sarah. Her contact is a Mossad man named Danny. Okay, let's go to the police and come to the police. Okay, let's go 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 to the police. אם אני אשאל מישהו יגיד את זה. Excuse me, just a minute. Please, you know the situation is very complicated now. The whole country can explode any minute, you know that. What we don't need right now is more hate. Please. You're asking me to forget it? I never came here to talk to anybody? It's better for everybody, believe me. No, no way. You know what you can do? Okay, Mr. Stevens, okay, go. Go tell the whole world we are not giving up. We didn't come to Lebanon for a picnic. There was a reason for this war. And what we started now, we shall finish next time. And next time, and next time, till we finish. Stop now! We want to be just like you and the rest of the world. Not perfect, but alive. Alive, that's all. Say that on your television. We don't have much time. You see, after what's happened, that the financials will revenge. They're going to enter the refugee camps. What are you saying? There will be a massacre. No Palestinian will survive, and there will be no one. Kids, everybody. I'm going to do what I can, but I'm taking you back. You must call your station and report it. Maybe that's the only way. Stevens, Don Stevens, I'm calling from Beirut. Is he there? A moment, please. Yeah, it's very important. Jerry, have I got a story for you? You got to believe me. I know about last, as God is my judge. 
A lot of people are gonna die if you don't listen, okay? You got a pencil. Here it is. The phalange about... What? Don't tell me that! What are you, a moron? I'm giving you a gift. No, you shut up! Get a brain operation! Look, listen, I won't do that. No, listen, go. Don't do that. I'm telling you, the phalange are about... Don't hang up! Don't hang up! Hello? They're coming. In a few hours, this place will be crawling with militiamen. You gotta tell these people to take their families, their children, just get out of here. I'm telling you, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here myself. Who told you that? I've been to East Beirut. And why should I believe you? The Mossad told me, okay? What do you want me to do? Stand on my head? Everybody, the Katayev, they're coming. Take your families, your children, you gotta go. Where? I don't know, any place. Just get out, you're gonna die. Do you understand? You're gonna die. أيها الأخوات، أيتها الأخوات، يقول لك لكم بالحرب أو الموت، وأنا أبى أسألكم كم مرة سمعتم هذا الكلام؟ Where do you want us to go? To the end of the world? We are freedom fighters. We're gonna stay here and fight. You stay here. It's on your head. These people are gonna die. Get these people out of here. Okay, okay, come on. Don't tell me. Stop the panic and go away. What the fuck? Okay, good. You are responsible. It's on your head. You answer for this. سمعنا <تصفيق> 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 نحن فسنقول لهم اهلا وسهلا نحن سنري من هو البطل الفلسطيني سمعتم هذه الكلمات وهذه سبيه صغيره فقط فماذا تقولون
crazy. Come back to me.
Yeah. 